Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and today I want to talk about some interesting stories that are gaining traction in the news this week. I generally avoid talking politics and various subjects that many have strong opinions on, but a fascinating story has emerged this week on the revival of the woolly mammoth. And I think those of you who know me from my arc survival evolved stuff and the lore stories will appreciate the implications of hearing about this project as the real world parallels between Santiago and the Ark's lore and the study undergoing into this gene research to revive the woolly mammoth really bring a smile to my cold heart. So before I jump into quoting some of these articles I've been reading, perhaps we should first go over the reasons why this project was given the go ahead on Monday and its initial 15 million pound investment. So yes, if you haven't guessed it already, we're gonna be talking about global warming. Now, before you click off this video, I'm not about to go Greta Thornburg on you. How dare you? Or sit there in a bath of milk and rose petal and lecture you guys on how you could be saving the planet. No, that's not my goal here. But I think it's important to show some context and science as to why they're going ahead with this project. So if we just take a quick look at NASA's research into a detailed global climate change and how the world may look in around 90 years from now. The research into this project approximately gives 90 years to rising CO2 emissions and you could see much of Siberia and the tundra and other northern reaches of Canada reach temperatures that have never been seen before. Now we all know that many governments are collaborating to reduce carbon emissions and what many don't take into consideration in the global warming argument is a lot of planet Earth's CO2 is locked between the permafrost beneath the tundra. In this region, in Siberia and Alaska, vast areas of the land is dominated by trees such as the black spruce. And there's lots of moss growing there. And these trees and the moss that surrounds them are particularly effective in trapping heat and causing the ice to melt quicker. So now this gives us a little bit of context as to why scientists are gonna bring back these creatures. Now in areas such as the tundra during the ice age, the woolly mammoth would act as a natural gardener, if you will trampling these trees and the moss and fertilizing the ground around it and just acting as Earth's natural gardeners. So this article by Jeremy Eagle, that's a cool name, isn't it? Jeremy Codename Eagle. If you want to check this article out, I will leave a link because I'm just going to skip over it. But it begins by saying, have you ever seen the movie Jurassic Park or one of its sequels? Now I'm just going to stop you there. I mean, who hasn't seen Jurassic Park by now? But it tells the story of an eccentric businessman who creates a theme park of cloned dinosaurs from the prehistoric DNA, only to have his dreams ruined by resurrected T-Rexes and other ferocious predators. I just want to briefly skip over this article. The company named as Colossal aims to place thousands of these magnificent beasts back on the Siberian tundra, thousands of years after they went extinct. This is a major milestone for us, said George Church, a biologist at Harvard Medical School, who for eight years has been leading a small team of moonlighting researchers, developing the tools for reviving Manus. It's going to make all the difference in the world. The company, which has received a 15 million initial funding, will support research in Dr. Church's lab and carry out experiments in labs of their own in Boston and Dallas. He goes on to say, beyond scientific curiosity, he argued that the revival of the woolly mammoths could help the environment today. The tundra of Siberia and North America, where the animals once grazed, is rapidly warming, releasing carbon dioxide. Mammoths are hypothetically a solution to this. Now, I suppose it does beg the question as to whether they're playing God or not here, but I can really see the parallels between Santiago and the Arcs. I will leave links to the rest of this article and I'll also leave links to Colossal's website. Just here it goes over the 10 goals for reviving the mammoth, to de-accelerate the melting of the Arctic permafrost, to prevent emissions of greenhouse gases trapped within the permafrost layer up to 16 million tonnes of net carbon annually, to revert now overshrubbed forests back to their natural Arctic grasslands which will help with carbon emissions, to restore Mammoth Steeple, which is the, in the tundra itself, where the woolly mammoth thrived. To foster an ecosystem that can maintain its own defence against climate change. To understand and dominant traits among cold resistant genomes. To save modern elephants from extinction. To establish a proven link between genetic sciences and climate change. 
to equip nature with the resilience against humanity's adverse effect on vital ecosystems and to derive advancements in multiple CRISPR editing. So of course I'm not a scientist here but I do find this story fascinating. And of course where does it end? Are they going to be reviving the Dodicarus perhaps to help us with our building endeavours? That'd be great, I'd love to use a Dodic to smash up stones and demolish buildings. And of course it doesn't take things into account like gestation of a mammoth would take 22 months and approximately 30 years for it to grow to size so I don't even know if they can do it in time to be able to save the tundra. So for all of you who are playing on my server right now, who say that 45 minutes for a T-Rex to gestate and one and a half hours for it to fully grow to maturity, I mean, you know, come on, think again. But yeah, I just think that's a, a fascinating story really, where science fiction is coming to life and in our lifetime we could possibly see the revival of the woolly mammoth and effectively being nature's gardener going out into the tundra to knock down all of the trees and get rid of this moss that is causing the release of the CO2 emissions and gases. So really, really fascinating stuff. And uh, it's too often now that I switch on the news to depressing stuff. And uh, this one really did put a smile on my face. So something a little bit different from myself today. But I hope you all have a good weekend and enjoyed that one. And until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.